How you doing everybody? This is Forbin from the ECF bringing you yet another review. It's been a while since I've done one. If you've uh, actually looked at my YouTube page, it's been months since I've done one. So I'm pretty excited to be back on the uh, video review time. You've probably seen this one before. This is the VMod from Vapage. We're going to talk about his newer, bigger brother today, the VMod XL. Check that out. 14500 battery over here, 18650 battery over here. 9 milliliter juice bottle. I would imagine for most vapors, that's going to get you through three, four, five days. I don't know how heavy you vape. Get me through three days easily, that's for sure. Um, if you're already familiar with the VMod, then you know how this works. The principles are pretty much the same. If you haven't, let me give you a quick tour. First thing is, get this black cone on top, you need to untwist that. Check that out, see if you can see that there. Yeah, you can see the airflow hole. There's a couple of them drilled into it. Makes the airflow real nice, very easy draw. Step two, a little metal sleeve here, covering the atomizer. I'm going to take that off. Now there's a plastic sleeve around the whole mod covering the chassis. Just slide that off like so. Now you have cover and the main weapon over here. Find yourself a high quality 18650. I'm a big fan of the AWS, the IMR version. Pop that in. Already gone ahead and threaded the juice bottle in there to keep the video moving along. So now, once you've done that, it's every bit as simple to put it back together as it was to take it apart. Put that back on over the chassis. Take your metal sleeve. Thread that in. Take your black cone. Thread that onto the metal sleeve. Make sure it's all threaded down nice and snug. And away we go. If you're already familiar with the little brother... Uh, one of the earlier versions of the VMod had some leakage issues with their feeding system, and they've made a few changes over uh, the last few months, and they have a huge improvement. Um, this guy over here, I haven't had any problems with leaking. I've been using it since uh, about the middle of the day yesterday, so I got a little over 24 hours on it. No leakage problems at all. Uh, so the new uh, chamber feeding system in this guy totally rocks, and if I understand correctly, that feeding system will be, if it's not already there, and it might be, it's going to be in the standard VMod as well. So VMod XL, 18650 battery, 9 mil juice bottle, at least three days of vaping for most people. And it's going to be, I believe, $80, $79.99. Uh, I don't know um, whether or not he's got a discount code going, but I will check that out and have some notes below on my YouTube page for you to take a look at when I have a little more information there. In the interest of full disclosure, I want to let you know this was sent to me for the purposes of a review as a free-to-review item. This is one of the prototype models. Uh, it's one of the final prototype models, and the the uh, production units are going to be pretty much exactly the same. I don't think there's any changes at all, really. Uh, it's a kick-butt mod. Big fan of the 18650s for, for how long they last. 9 mil juice bottles going to keep people hooked up for a whole weekend. Uh, check it out at vapage.com. It's V-A-P-A-G-E.com. It's the VMod XL 18650 9mm juice bottle. I will be doing a full review sometime in the next few days, so stay tuned. Thanks.